and welcome back. It's time for us to go on to the boss fight since we already chatted up every sheep in this area. How much longer are we going to play this game? Stop complaining and sit down. As for this image right here, that does bear a bit of a resemblance to the title screen. Vincent was uh, strung up in a similar manner. Although the blocks weren't exactly much of a cross. Those appear to be sheep crowding around it. Oh, man. Here you are, lost lamb. You're quite good to get through that wall. Now, this is the question. This is the fifth question. If you were paid enough money, would you walk naked through the streets? <laughs> Could you ever be paid enough mo enough to go nude in public? W which one? Never, or how much are we talking about? This one? Hmm. That's an interesting uh, thing right there. I think everybody has their price. Damn, I don't know. Would I do it? Hell yeah. You give me, I don't know, a couple hundred K? Maybe a few million? Which one? Sure, I'll drop trow and uh, jog down a street. This one? But that's just me. Hmm. Not sure Vincent really values money that highly. He is working a lot of overtime for absolutely nothing. Which one? Then again, <laughs> this one? Who doesn't want a shitload of money? You know, if you're not like going to be arrested oh, no. for it or you know, we're just talked about maybe like some average public place. Which one? Just this once or something, you know? I don't see it being that big of a this deal, one? so yeah, I'm gonna go with this. You chose that one. I'm slowly starting to know you better. Now, this is the fourth floor. Once you're past this, you will be halfway through. Finally. Night after night. I wish you'd go easy on me, damn it. It's too bad. You're the one who tried to take someone else's future first. Think. Whose future are you about to steal away? What are you trying to say? <laughs> we'll go soon. Catherine's future? I guess. I mean, if she ends up stuck with this kid permanently. Yeah, it's kind of hard to have, uh her normal life. She's a very career-focused woman. She's got a kid tagging along. Ha! Almost a 50-50 split with a slight lead in how much are we talking about? A little bit surprised by that one. I figured a lot of people would go for it. Guess that's just me though. Yeah. I believe that there is a certain monetary amount you can pay pretty much anybody to do pretty much anything, regardless of what they'll say. Everything has its price. Everything. This is the final area for tonight. A steep face is in your path. Stay calm, and take it step by step. Looks like the Inquisition is built around very huge walls. Alright, let's go with that then. I'm gonna try that voice. I'm gonna try not to die. Wait, future being stolen away. Wait, is this like implying that. Oh! Shit! Is this implying that Vincent's going to like, uh. 
try to talk. Catherine into an abortion or something? If so, that'd be quite an interesting predicament. God damn it, Junior. Knock that shit off. Okay, that clearly did not work as I envisioned it. There we go, that's better. Uh huh. Shit, how am I. I'm gonna take a couple moves back. Oh yeah, that'll work. Just gotta drag this. Go. Creates a nice landing. Fuck, that kid's getting way too close. Climb, climb to goddammit. I'm not your daddy, kid. I'm not your daddy. I'd like to see a paternity test before I start having to take orders from you and shit. This area is very largely built around bridges, from the looks of it. Unless I'm doing this completely wrong, it looks like I should be using like bridges constantly. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what it was showing a little while ago. Build some uh, vertical scaling areas. What did they call that maneuver? Hit a bridge. That's. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, thanks, kid. You got me out of a jam. I thought I was going to be stuck and would have to climb back down. Turns out not. Shit! Kids, stop throwing a fucking fit. You're gonna kill me up here. Then you're gonna be an orphan. Oh, boy. Okay, almost there, almost there. I got it. Hell yeah. That wasn't so bad compared to the last one. I mean, it was pretty tense and uh, rough, but. Congratulations, are in order for your skills. The Inquisition was unable to extract your secrets. But uh, I didn't feel as overwhelmed as I did on the last one. So, from the looks of things, uh, whichever boss you're fighting is themed around whatever is sort of driving Vincent crazy at the time. Currently, it's a lot to do about the possibility of there being a kid. So, we had to fight a giant baby. Yes, indeed. Okay, silver prize. Not too bad, I guess. I'm okay with that. Onward we go. No one expects the. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> they wouldn't, would they? They wouldn't, would they?
Ah, okay, good. They cut it off. So, what did you want to talk about? <sighs> what are you doing here? Oh. Are you okay? Did you drink too much last night? You called me over, and you don't even remember. Huh? No way. I mean, yesterday, I... <sighs> What's wrong? You're acting weird. Weird? Me? God, why can't I remember the time I spend with you? It's like the important parts are missing. Oh, I remember them, though. <laughs> oh, well, I wonder why. <laughs> Silly. Huh? Hey, what's this long hair? <sighs> that, that's Catherine's. What should I do? Should I just tell her? No, I can't let her find out like this. Oh! That's mine. Probably off my chest. <laughs> you know, manly. <laughs> huh? Your chest? Really? Yeah, yeah. Y you know, uh, it's it's that... But you know when sometimes a long white hair grows on your body? It it's good luck? But this is, like, really long. Yeah, I was growing it out. It just fell out by itself. <laughs> good thing, too. It's bad luck if you pull it out yourself, you know? Oh, really? It's not from another girl, is it, Vincent? No, why, why would you say that? You know, because if it is, I'm going to die right here. Hey, 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 hey. knock it off with all the dying stuff, okay? Then I'll kill you. <laughs> I die, or I kill you. Which would be better? Hey, come on, come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Fine, I'll give you five seconds. If you don't answer me, I'll kill you. One, two, huh? three, four. Hey, come on, come on. Quit fooling around. Huh? Five. There's no other girl. Right, you're imagining things. Hmm. Is that the truth? Of course it is. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I trust you. Thanks. <sighs> God, she's scary like this. Is she gonna pull a knife on me one day or something? Oh, no, there is no one day. I've got to do something about this relationship. I'm not going to ask you about the past. It doesn't matter. But from now on, if you ever cheat on me, I'll be angry. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, You don't have to get that, do you? Whoa, 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 wait, hold on. Sure, but uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it is my landlady. <laughs> she was trying to open the door. <laughs> hmm? The landlady? Yeah, I forgot to pay my rent last month. <laughs> you know how it is with money. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Vincent, 
What is this? Will you keep it down? Huh? One of my bosses is here. Huh? Really? Not the best time for you to be. Maybe I should at least say hello. <laughs> he gets real grumpy if you wake him up. He's sleeping in the back. Well, if you really think it would... <laughs> huh? He's awake? Yeah, hurry up! Outside! Hey! Go, 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 go. <laughs> sorry. Really sorry. I just wanted to protect you from the smell. Huh? He really smells, you know, and he was drinking last night. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm glad I got you out in time. Whew. Hey, we're not that close, but he kind of forced his way in while he was drunk. Oh, well, he is your boss, huh? Yeah, he is. You just seemed really stressed, so I came to see how you were doing. Well, thank you. Uh, come by after work and I'll complain some more. <laughs> oh, I got you something from the new shop that opened up. Oh, uh, yeah? Here. I'll see you later. Owen. I am pregnant. <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Seriously? Was that why you really came here? I need to make up my mind quick. You don't know how that makes me feel. Seriously. See ya. The plot thickens significantly. We still need to meet my parents and tell them. Oh, and we have to pick a name, but that might be rushing things. I'll text you the details later. I gotta go. <sighs> Meeting the parents. Am I just gonna sit here and let this happen? You got a mail. Oh. God, look at her. Oh, man, we look at those. What am I doing? I can't look away. No, no, I've made up my mind. I can't let her tempt me. Shit, if she finds out, I am so Rude. I gotta do something quick. No time to think about the future. Still. Mm. Is this girl? Look out. It's the bathroom. You're late. Did you see the movie where the guy was, uh, you know... Shut up! Asshole! And just give me some toilet paper, please? Well, quit mumbling. I can't concentrate in here. Still, this girl. But, girl? Hey, what are you looking at in there? I want to see. Oh, shit. What am I thinking? This can't go on any longer. I have to tell her to stop. Dude, do not delete that picture. <laughs> He's quite single-minded. So, uh, you still doing the two-timing tango? Yeah, don't say it like that. It wasn't on purpose. Well, if she is pregnant, you gotta bite the bullet. <laughs> yeah, you're only saying that because it's not you. Hey, man, variety is the spice of life. You need to enjoy it more. Just like the wasabi-coated sushi they serve here. You know what I'm saying, bro? You suck at metaphors. What I'm saying is, you've got options ahead of you. Well, yeah. Maybe Catherine would be happier as a single mom than she would be with you. What, are you drunk? No, she wouldn't want that. Well, what exactly do you want here? <sighs> my mind and my heart don't exactly agree on that. Uh-huh. Well, you've got to be even more careful. If you're caught, you can't call it an accident anymore. I know. I know. Accidents, huh? More and more of them lately. 
The old guy next door to me kicked the bucket. I heard shocker, huh? Thought he always did like to party. Probably party too hard. He had this horrible look on his face. Really? It's like that stuff on the road. <sighs> anyway, have some magro. It's supposed to be good for your circulation. Huh? You're as pale as a ghost, man. Oh. Uh. You going to the bar tonight? Uh, maybe. You? Uh, I have to pass today. Got overtime. But I guess all you can do is drink and forget, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. Messages working overtime. Who isn't you? <laughs> I've ended up sending you a special picture. Try not to act surprised if you're opening it at work or something. Secure your reaction when you see this is making me laugh. Look at this in public? I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. Well, I do kind of want to take a closer Are look. Hmm. Looks like we have a few new people hanging around tonight. Good evening. Oh, wait. Okay, so he's the Morgan they were talking about. Excellent. Makes sense. Wash your face. Whoa! <laughs> uh, you getting tired? It's scary, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you at the quadrangle. You'll be frozen with fear. This voice. Huh? Ice level? Ice level. And I have a suspicion that uh, what we're going to be dealing with tonight is either going to be some sort of manifestation of his current worries about being horribly butchered by Catherine, or meeting the other Catherine's parents. <laughs> yes, yes, I realize I am a <laughs> Unrepentant pervert. Very nice. Okay. Do you like cake? Hello, I saw an article in a magazine about the best bakeries in the city. It's kind of embarrassing for a guy to eat at one alone, so I was thinking you might want to go with me. We could go to that place with the great view I was telling you about yesterday. If you want to go, please tell me what days you're available to buy us. Shit, ignore last text. Hey, sorry man, that text I just sent you was for Erica. Just pretend you never saw it, okay? I'm not gonna be at the bar tonight. I have to go buy something. I think Johnny will be there, so be sure to talk to him. Don't tell Erica about what I'm buying anything. Just don't tell Erica that I'm buying anything, T-Dog. <laughs> really? He calls himself T-Dog. Ugh. Orlando, hey, don't be too hard on yourself, bro. Marriage isn't all bad. It's nice to be able to have someone special to spend the rest of your life with. Or just a short period of time in Orlando's case. As things did kind of end pretty disastrously for him. Can't respond to that. Uh, Outbox, nothing new. Like Vincent didn't send any texts while we were losing control of him. Let's see if we have anything new on the jukebox. Nope, doesn't look that way. 
Oh, we do have a couple new tracks in this game, but I think I'll stick to uh, the classical bar music. When we get married, you want to go on a honeymoon in space? They lowered the application fee. It's cheaper now. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's only 50000 instead of 80000 What a steal. Besides, that's just the application fee. Who knows how much more the trip will cost? And what's this about marriage? You're joking, right? Uh, hmm. Trip into space, huh? Space! Sure, I'd like to go to space one day. Who wouldn't? But let's be real here. If I had that kind of dough, I'd buy a house. Or pay off my car and have primo steaks for a month. Wow, what a dreamer. Hey, those are both very, very nice dreams. Don't be so fucking down on the guy. <laughs> Duh, did they just laugh at me? Hmm, looks like only Johnny's here tonight. He's alone at the bar. Let's go check out the ATM. How much does it cost to raise a child? Quite a lot, from what I hear. There's the doors. In case anyone was wondering, I could just go to those at any time and walk out. Does Johnny seem a bit gloomy to you? Did something happen? We don't mess around, man. I'm seriously worried about him. He always hides his problems, right? Yeah, huh? You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. Yeah, in all the right places. Want to come back to my place and see where it grew? In fact, it'll still grow. <laughs> uh, I'm. Yeah. I've been getting the feeling like people keep staring at me. Maybe I'm showing a little too much cleavage. It's just you. Hey, don't shoot me down just like that with three words. Come on. I know you sneak a peek at me every so often. No, I don't. Three words again? You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. Yes, yes, we know. Get some new lines. Are you drinking? Who should I talk to first? I kind of want to see what the crazy chicks have to say. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Would you rather watch golf at home? Would you rather watch baseball at home? I'm not a sports fan. At all. <laughs> Golf is boring as fuck and so is baseball. Those are like the least popular sports with me. <laughs> and I'm not even big on sports in general, so yeah. I don't know, I might have more fun watching baseball. No clue about Vincent though, so yeah. <laughs> Go with me. This one? I don't think Mr. Todd, Todd would say that. that. I hear Mr. Todd's body is heavily scarred. I hear Mr. Todd is hit by an axe. He doesn't want to show those scars to his wife. I hear Mr. Archie has many new wounds. He gets new ones every time he sleeps with a woman. I don't think he can forgive himself. <sighs> it means four days until the time of freedom. What are you talking about? They're covered in wounds. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of dream world thing. Vincent did remark at one point that he's covered in cuts and scrapes from climbing the tower. Mr. Morgan is dreaming today. Mr. Morgan looks the same as he did 20 years ago. A woman Mr. Morgan loved was killed. Mr. Morgan didn't follow her into death. I wonder if he will kill the murderer. Oh. Okay. Congratulations. You finished stage four, yeah. Excuse me, ladies. I'll take a rain check on that threesome. Ah, that was just in the walk-in. I didn't get a good look at him. Are you drinking? 
Mm. Morgan's just taking a break from work, so he's probably not going to stick around forever. But Justin's always here until closing time. Johnny... Well, he never leaves. Until we talk to him a bunch of times. So let's it's talk you. up Morgan. All I hear are rumors these days, even when I drink. I think these rumors gave me a terrible nightmare last night. These rumors are about cheating men, right? I gotta say, I, I'm a little scared. Shoot, you have a reason to be scared then? I'm a piece of trash. If they're cursing cheaters to death, I'd be the first to go. Trash? I killed my wife. What? That's the other case I told you I'm investigating from six years ago. You killed your wife, and you're still researching the case. I'm trash. <sighs> Did he just confess to fucking murder? I'm calling the cops. Hey. How's it going, Vincent? What are you doing right now? Oh, boy. I'm drinking with friends. Still work. Why do you care? I'm drinking with friends. We'll talk later. Don't come bother me, okay? No. Don't bother me. <laughs> yeah, let's try to avoid her. Give Vincent some time to uh, gather his courage and try to set things right here. Alright. I'm hoping if we keep treating her like shit, she'll eventually get the hint. She won't, though, because this game isn't going to work that way. At all. I'm guessing he's talking, like, metaphorically somehow. He didn't really kill his wife, he just could have saved her or something. That's my Sorry, guess. Sorry, I don't have any information about that incident. I'll be on the job today, though, so hopefully I'll have something for you. You got mail. Oh boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Figured it was the other one. Hi, this morning must have been hard for you. Well, I guess I was in the wrong too for showing up so suddenly, but I wanted to talk to you a little more face to face. Nah. Sorry, I didn't mean to chase you away. Nah. I'm helping my boss ever again. Nah. Can't get that stink out of my room. Nah. No. A little bit of, um, Self-examination on Vincent's part, I guess. Nah. No. It's true, he is really tearing himself apart about all of this, so... I still hate her guts, though. Don't, uh, let my recent streak of not treating her like complete crap fool you. Oh, hey, Daniel showed up. Ah, uh, let's go chat with him a little bit. It's you. Sit. I've been waiting to speak alone with you. I can't believe you don't remember me. And all this time, I was striving to one-up you. One-up? What? I can change the markets with a nod of my head. I've got friends in every branch of government you can think of. I've done a complete 180 from when I was in grade school. So why do I feel so powerless? Forget about us. It was never a competition. Well, it never was a competition. <laughs> Hell, we never even thought about him. It's not like that. Maybe it wasn't to you. 
But I've been trying to surpass you all along. What? I don't think I'm that great of a person. In the end, there's not a single thing that I'm better at than you. I can't make the one person that I love happy. Oh. Anna, was it? Out of everything in my life, she's the one thing I ever chose for myself. But I have another fiancé. Uh... I don't know what to say. I don't need your pity. How about saying this? Don't have two fiancés. I mean, that's just asking for trouble. I mean, at least in Vincent's case, it's kind of a screw-up that sort of happened. You seemingly proposed to two separate chicks. You have no one to blame but yourself, bro. I'm not wrong. Maybe I'm horribly wrong on this, but that's the way I see it. You got yourself into this mess, deal with it. Uh. Oh, they're all coming in at once, aren't they? Hey, are you alone today? Hey, uh, do I look like a good person? Of course, sorry, but no. Uh, he seems like a nice guy. He could definitely use a haircut. Maybe a bit of a tan. But he doesn't look evil. Certainly a lot less evil than Todd, the biker looking motherfucker. Yeah. You're not a good judge of character, are you? I'm one of the worst people ever. Huh? I sleep with lots of women, take their money and run. Lather, rinse, repeat. Why? I don't like women. They disgust me. <sighs> What about you? Are you usually loyal to them? Oh, well, I guess. I mean, I've been dating my girlfriend for a while now. So you mean you'd pull back even if the woman of your dreams hit on you? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, uh, <laughs> the woman of Vincent's dreams did sort of hit on him. And he does think he kind of fucked things up pretty badly. He's just sort of on damage control right now. I don't know. Women don't stay true either. A happy family is just an illusion. Mothers and sons are just women and men when it comes down to it. Huh? Just kidding. I'm going now. I only came to have one drink. The what now? Okay, he's disgusted by women, and he has mother issues? Is this some sort of Oedipus complex? Is that Rapunzel game any good? I tried it because Todd, my boss, was into it. It's a lot of pushing and pulling, just like relationships with women. Nothing but trouble. <laughs> you got mail. How true. I... I'm really confused right now. I mean, you've been acting really strange this week. This has never happened before. I'm worried about us. Uh. Well, what do you expect, woman? You've been acting kind of crazy, and you're dumping a lot of really... Um, insane shit on us right now. Yeah, uh, I think that's kind of a nice way of saying, I'm not sure this is working out. Because I really don't think this is sort of working out between the two of them. Maybe that's just me. But they just do not seem compatible at all. Not even in the whole, we're sort of really different, but it works really well kind of way. It's more of the the hell are these two people doing together kind of way? It just seems so wrong. Oh, it's 
cat. Hello. Hey, what's up? Well, um. Sorry, not yet. Uh, I see. <laughs> Catherine? Vincent, have you been busy recently, or do you have something bothering you? Why do you ask? I mean, you seem to have been thinking about something for the past few days. Well, I can tell. Oh, well. I'm sorry. I'll call you later. Bye. Yeah, this is a guy with a lot on his plate. And a lot on his mind. Ah, uh, looks like we lost our chance to talk to uh, Justin tonight. Shame. I was kind of hoping to hear more about whatever deal he has going on. Oh well. Always tomorrow night, I guess. Maybe he'll wander back in before closing time. This is our latest in the coverage of the mysterious weakening death epidemic. Matthew Miller was found dead today. We retraced his footsteps from the day before as part of our investigation. This epidemic. A horrible mess. According to his mother, who spoke with him on the phone, after that point he'd been plagued with nightmares. Helen, I am pregnant. She's pregnant. And here I am cheating for a third time. What am I doing? It's not like you even realize you're doing it, man. I think she's just somehow sneaking into your place. Also, crazy thought for a moment here. Isn't it kind of odd that the only person who ever seems to see her is Vincent? I mean, am I the only one seeing that? She only shows up at the bar when it's closed down except for Boss here. Who doesn't even seem to acknowledge her presence. Somehow she gets into his apartment even if it's like locked way the fuck up. Well, I suppose Catherine did notice some sounds earlier. And there was that incident at the uh, diner. Still, it's kind of odd that she's not really showing up for anybody else. He's not even showing the picture to Orlando. Why can't I just tell her I have a girlfriend? I don't know, something about the coincidence of them both having the same name is just really troubling me. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Did you know the United States outlawed alcohol between 1920 and 1933? Yes, I did. Prohibition. Didn't work. Led to a lot of organized crime. Big mess. It is said that this very prohibition paved a way for the cocktail culture to bloom. Alcohol made in secret tended to taste terrible, so people began mixing it with anything and everything to make it more enjoyable. These are the roots of the modern cocktail. The more you stamp on a weed, the more it thrives. My, that's deep. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? What would you like now? Let's see. Let's go a little Japanese. I'll try sake. Coming right up. Whew. I'm gonna let her down just because I was being stupid. I can't turn back now. I can't let her find out. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about Japanese sake. Now that you've emptied your sake cup. Do you know who the first Westerner to drink Japanese sake was? Huh. Ah. Uh... I'd almost want to go with some member of royalty or some random explorer, but yeah, I have no fucking clue. According to records, it was Spanish missionary Francis Xavier who came to Japan in 1549. In his letters written back home, 
He was amazed to learn that the alcohol was made from rice, not fruit. It must have been a rice surprise. Ah ha ha! Ah ha! Oh, how witty, narrator guy. You're so awesome. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? Are you alright? You know, I'd like to take narrator guy out for drinks. He seems like he'd be a really cool drinking buddy. I'm fine. I need a beer. Let's have a beer. Coming right up. Classy American drink. Since this game is set in America. Owen, I am pregnant. She's pregnant. Which is strange. And here I am cheating for a third time. Because he was recently in Japan. I suppose nothing makes sense. Why do I keep cheating? Why can't I just tell her? I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about beer. Now that you've emptied your mug. Do you know what draft beer is? Fresh beer still yes, has yeast bacteria inside, which cannot be preserved. However, the beer's taste is changed by pasteurization. Draft beer is unpasteurized. However, it is possible to filter draft beer to remove the bacteria so the beer lasts longer. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. Empty already? Are you all right? Selling the bacteria. Okay. I started to think about our high school days after what happened to Paul. Oh boy, Paul loved the girls back then, too. You and Orlando were always doing stupid things. Didn't you guys once eat Catherine's lunch and get chewed out for it? Did we? I know she was mad, but she started bringing you snacks once in a while. Remember? I thought she just wasn't hungry. Yeah, dumbass. There was so much going on back then. We were all busy with our own problems. It wasn't all fun, but I felt more alive. More than I do now. It's with you all of a sudden. Is something bothering you? No. <sighs> hey, really, what's, what's going on? I'm just reminiscing. I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, be careful. Sure. You got me. Huh. They all went to school together. Did not realize that. So, I guess the reunion they were talking about was school related. Fellow customers. Seems that the regular patients at Stray Sheep have deep issues. Oh, don't you know it! If you ignore them, they may stop coming to the bar and they may even end up on the news. Be sure to speak to them and keep encouraging them. I'm trying to. It's just that it's hard to tell which ones are going to get up and walk out when. I mean, I thought I had all night to talk to Justin, but he just got up and walked out. He's always here till closing time, but tonight is different. What's the deal there, yo? You guys are still just kid. Ah, I was hoping she changed her tune. Nope. I'm kind of tired. I haven't been able to sleep lately. I tried staying in my girlfriend's place, but that makes me even more tired. Your girlfriend, huh? What's she like? <laughs> what? You, you want to know? You never talk about it. Toby was wondering too. There's nothing to talk about. Maybe later. Hmm? Johnny doesn't want to talk about his girlfriend. Somebody got up and left. Looks like it was Daniel. I'm trying to keep track of everybody, because I don't want to miss as I want to miss as little dialogue as possible. I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, be careful. Yeah. Uh, well shucks, it's late. I'm tired today. Go home and get some rest. Johnny's having a, a lot of trouble sleeping. 
and he's having girl problems. Is it possible he's in a similar bit of trouble? Curious. Okay, that was Archie leaving. The news. It's all about the recent chain of deaths. Just between you and me, it seems an acquaintance of one of our customers has passed away. It's just a coincidence. Well, I don't believe in curses either. But to incur the grudge of a female is a horrifying thing. You see, my wife left me. When she was away on vacation, I brought a young lady home, just having a little fun. And then, she comes home all of a sudden. After that, she's swinging all kinds of improvised weaponry at me. Phew, what a night. Um, sorry to hear that. Yeah, but still, I love my wife even now. She's a classy lady. Hmm. Then, maybe there's no reason for you to worry about the curse. I mean, if cheating is the cause of the curse, everything's already been taken care of, right? I see. You're right. Maybe that's why I don't have strange nightmares? Besides, it's just a rumor anyway. It's stupid. Well, this will just move on once they figure out what's causing this. True enough. After that rumor started, everyone seems to be a bit more tired than usual. Are the nightmares because of lack of sleep? Even if they were, they're all happening at once. Hmm. Looks like we've exhausted our options for the night. Johnny appears to want to just stay here. Doesn't seem interested in leaving. Yes. I'm not even going to attempt any Rapunzel right now. And I think we're sufficiently drunk to be able to climb. It's okay, I'm good to drive and also climb. I swear, officer, I'm not drunk. Yeah. Wow, you don't look so hot. You should go home and get some rest. Yeah, that's right. I know. Oh, yeah, about my bill. Yeah, put it on your tab, right? I know, I know. Anyway, just make sure you get home safely, okay? With all the rumors and bad news going around. Ah, you worry too much, Erica. I'll be fine. See you soon. Looks like she bit into him pretty well. He's bandaged up. You've come. Tonight we visit the quadrangle. I didn't expect you to climb this high. Squad will make you slide until you reach the edge. Figured. It's a dangerous hazard that can lead to instant death. Be careful. Snow? Shit, it's cold. I I'm gonna freeze to death. Yeah, boxers are really not a good idea in this kind of. Right, I got it. Whoa. Wait, seriously? Edge. 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 
Ah, okay, so... Gotta be careful about... Where we're... Standing on these ice blocks. Because otherwise... We could be asking for trouble. If we start sliding, we... Well... What the fuck? How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Oh! Spring blocks. Cool. I just wanted there was a trophy for doing that. Oh well. Guess we'll see about that later. Alright, I got it. What the f What the hell was that? How did he get all the way up there? He just jumped like 50 feet in the air. There's a trick to this, isn't there? Wait, don't tell me. Oh, shit! The reason he jumped 50 feet in the air is because one of those is a spring block. Pick up a lot of lives somehow, though. I'm alright with that. Okay, ice blocks, the blue things. Gotta be careful of those. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong placements, you go over the edge. That's not a good place to be. Oh, fuck! May you rest in peace. Now's not the time to be dead. Okay! Right, I, got it. I see how that's supposed to be done now. I get it. Right. I fucked up. That one was on me. I can take that. I can take that. Alright. Let's climb up higher. Get way up there. So we've been spending quite a bit of time getting inside of Vincent's head. Oh. Or at least I've been attempting to do that. That way. Should just slide off. Grab it and climb up, I guess. So yeah, the characters thus far, uh, see Catherine, oh, no, 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 not up there, not up there, okay. See Catherine, bit of a psycho, kind of creeping me the fuck out, very do not want, in some instances of, I'm not sure how to feel about this. Huh. Let's just pretend that didn't happen, shall we? Let's just keep it moving. And Kay Catherine is sort of redeeming herself a little bit in my eyes. She's coming off a little bit nicer, but I don't know. I'm just not seeing it. 
whole situation with her and Vincent just doesn't quite seem to fit right. Or I'm seeing it. Just very opposite personality types. God damn it. Trying to move here. There we go. Alright. Let's do this right this time. Shit's tricky. Shit is tricky. So, where exactly would I fit on some of the crap that Vincent's going through? Huh, kind of reminds me of Chip's challenge. Well, you see, I probably wouldn't be dating Catherine because she just does not seem to be my type at all. And she definitely doesn't seem to be Vincent's type. I'm sure there's going to be a couple of people that are quite fond of her for being, you know, a very strong, very focused, career-oriented woman and stuff like that, instead of the stereotypical helpless princess female character you tend to get in games, but... She just strikes me as a huge bitch. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it goes. She just seems to be. God damn it, I tried to climb here. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Right, I got Fuck it. this so hard. Uh, no. All of my hate. I'm really hating these fucking springboards. Uh, the other Catherine. She's coming off like a bit of a psychopath. She seems like a pretty nice girl for the most part, but... She's right, I got it. clearly got something Edge. crazy going on Edge. under Edge. the hood. It. Yeah, I'm trying to dangle here. Really? Really? I'm trying to dangle off this ledge right here. Is there a button to make me do that? Should be a button to make me. Ah. Whatever. God, why? Oh no, wait, that would work. Let's take that. Oh, how nice! They're actually helping me out. Thanks, sheep. No! No, no! And I didn't even get the checkpoint. Fuck. I rely so heavily on the select button that... When I can't do it, I just end up in really lousy situations. So yeah, uh, don't see myself ending up with the other Catherine either. Either one seems to really make sense. The other Catherine, uh, see Catherine, she does seem a little bit more Vincent's kind of woman, I guess. 
I kind of like her more of a good fit, but after getting to know her, she kind of has some craziness going on there. And when bitches are crazy, that's usually a sign to not get involved with that. Yes, yes, I can fly. Just stop doing it! Got it. Uh, no! Oh, you asshole! Why are you doing this to me? Oh, thank you. So yeah, I suspect there's going to be a decent amount of right, I got it. Climb, climb. Okay, I got the checkpoint this time. Problem solved. That's totally not how I did this before. Edge, so much edge. I'm not even oh, going to tempt that shit. Edge. 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 All right. Huh. Uh. Oh, okay. Yes. That'll do. Excel some nice little staircase. Get the sheep out of the way. That would make things a lot easier. Edge. 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 Oh well. No! Fuck. Totally forgot about that. I keep thinking there's like an invisible wall in the back. You rest in peace, oh, uh, time oh shit. Alright, well, I'm going to finish this chapter then, hit a save point immediately. Oh, yeah, I should... Was this how I did it before? If it's not, it's the way I should have done it before. So the sheep are finally starting to move the blocks. It's not being a problem for me so far. Because they're actually moving them where I want them to move them. Pyramid. Up here. Oh, <laughs> 
When they're used as a staircase, these function perfectly normally. Am I doing my way down? This bastard will let me. We might have just fucked ourselves. Not in the fun way, in the really unpleasant way. It looks like I just unfucked ourselves. We are unfucked. We are completely unfucked. Ice levels, the bane of my existence. Not bad, not bad. The bane of my existence. Fuck ice levels. Hardcore. Huh. It's nice and green up here. Hell fucking low! What the hell happened to you? This guy's been popping the fucking roids. Wait. On the previous couple of levels, we've run into a sheep with huge horns that was killing people and was freaking out about it. You think that's him? You think he's getting like more powerful and evil as he climbs? That is? Looks like all the stray sheep uh, bar guys are all just kind of hanging out there. Daniel's off by himself. Alright, well, this video is definitely long enough. So, let's save. And I will pick this up tomorrow. So, I will see you then. Later, gents.